Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. The King of Kings, everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Hebrews chapter 11, verses 5 and 6. Verses 5 to 6. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that had faith, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Second lesson, John chapter 7 verse 17. If any man will do his will, he shall know if the doctrine, whether it be of God, or whether I speak of myself. Golden text, John chapter 3 verses 31 to 32. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. And what he hath seen and heard, that he testifieth, and no man receiveth his testimony. Quote, Have you seen the reason why I do not talk? I do not get angry. I do not discuss much with you. Why? Because of the fear I have for this glory and for God, and I do not wish that any of you should miss this glory. I would like you all to enjoy this peace and put it on as a garment. Before now, people had been told that no man can see God that whoever sees God will die, and so man became afraid. People ceased praying to God. Most people run away when they are told that God has come because of what they had heard. Those who are told to refrain from sin run away because of fear. Fear, is cause, fear has caused a lot of confusion among men. I am also filled with fear because once you commit any kind of sin, you must suffer. If you tell lies, you must suffer. No matter how small the sin is, if you commit the sin, you must suffer. You all are aware of the fact that once the Father comes into your midst, you all panic. I have seen the fear which the entire world has about the glory. Although you do not know, this is why I try to draw you nearer to myself. I bring down myself to your level because I know that fear go with suffering. Once you are afraid, you can never be perfect. I bring you close to myself so that you will be free to do what is good. I want you all to know that this work is not the work of man. It is God himself who has come to do all things. Pray in spirit and refrain from sin for you to see him and you will then know what to do. Spiritual song. Let us adore thee. Let us adore thee, fearful God. Read the first lesson again. First lesson, Hebrew chapter 11, verses 5 to 6. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found, because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony, that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them 
that diligently seek him. Have you seen that? If you all were to know that God has come down, you will not come in here to laugh and play for such actions bring punishment to the world. The words we speak are complicated. It had already been said that no man could see God and live. So you become so afraid that you decided to run away. You run to Satan. Now I have come to remove that fear from you so that you will be able to know him, love him, and see his glory in you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God forbid. Can I prevent that? What prevents that is the advice given to you to stop stealing, fornicating and committing all sorts of evil. It is these pieces of advice that enable you to see this glory and enjoy this kingdom. God does not kill anybody. His brightness, power, humility and love are the things we are seeing. If these things elude you, you are in trouble and can never see him. People run away from God. But where will you run to? If you are a sinner, where will you run to? He is, the, he is in the deepest sea, on the highest mountain top, in the sun, in the moon, is in the stars. If you refrain from sin, you will have peace and live a happy life. Fear God and give him honor and glory. All the changes you see in the world are as a result of his coming. This is the reason I have come to tell you not to be angry or commit any sin so that you may behold his grace. Even if the two hands are joined together in prayer, a sinner shall never go unpunished. As we are now, all those who speak ill of brotherhood speak ill of God and as such must suffer. Whoever is afraid of God and fails to believe that it is God that does this work should put himself in prayer. My daily intercession is for them because I have said from the onset that I am not the doer of this work. Even if the whole world should gather or God stands before me and persuades me to accept that I am the doer of this work. I will not accept, even at the risk of being shot. How can I say that I am the doer of the work when I have seen the doer and I have seen everything? Am I crazy? Do not ever think that because I joke with you, you should slap me. God is a two-edged sword. Whosoever does not rejoice at his coming is in trouble. If you speak ill of his coming, you are in trouble. If you speak ill of anybody in the world, you are in trouble. If you have been indulging in any kind of evil, abstain from it now because it is said that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. If you have the fear of God in you, you will no longer steal, fornicate, or indulge in vices. And once you abstain from these vices, you are saved. This is why that portion states that whosoever blaspheme against the Father shall be forgiven. But whosoever blaspheme against the Holy Spirit shall never be forgiven in this world or in this generation and in the generation to come because God, because he is God himself. God does not abuse man. He does not use cane on anybody and he does not get hungry. He is the light and he has no business with sin. If you fail to adhere to God's instruction, you are problem. You are being told so that you may not be angry bear grudges and so on. It is a fact that man is not God and man has no semblance of God in anywhere. Therefore, 
if you should compare man with God, you will have problems. God is the light and you cannot say anything about him because he is a perfect God. His glory and rulership is baffling. God is so great that his greatness overwhelms the world. Everything is embodied in him. Beauty, peace, wealth and power, heaven and earth are all in him. Therefore, man is not expected to tell lies, to kill, to swindle, be stubborn, to murmur or do any other vices anymore. If you do these things, you are in trouble. The reason why these words are preached 24 hours a day, 365 days a year is for the entire world to be saved and enjoy this glory forever in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is no more division, no more Jew or Greek, no more rich or poor, strong men and stubbornness have been wiped away because of my daily intercession. Do not be afraid again. Stop committing sin. Do not say Abu loves me and because of that you continue to sin. God has nothing to do with sin. I am not God. I am only a witness. You are also a witness and we all are his witnesses. Former things have passed away. Right now, the weather conditions have changed. Nobody knows the rainy season any. Nobody knows the rainy season and the dry season any longer. All concoctions have failed. The scientists have failed. If you come up to testify, you will have nothing to say. The first time he came, he was called Jesus, and things were not like this. He never really showed himself, but he humbled himself unto death, and now the Father raised him up and gave him a name which is above all other names. Which name has he been given now? He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. He is also the first Son of God. When you see Him, you see the Father. When you see the Father, you see the Son. And we are all His children. As I have taught you love, once you love Him, you are one with Him. No more male or female in Him. He has come to make us one. I am not the one called King of Kings. It is nobody's name. He is the King of Kings. Nobody else can answer that name. Do you know what the King of Kings and Lord of Lords means? Refrain from sin. Do that which is good and have love and you will see his glory. All those who do good see him and know him and they dwell with him forever. All those who have love, humble themselves, do not fornicate, have patience, be honest, do not eat meat and fish, be like him and take after him. All those who continue to eat meat and fish, prove stubborn, kill and argue, do not see him and have no peace. Read the second lesson again. Second lesson, John chapter 7 verse 17. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. This is why I say nothing. I do not stop you from coming to Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. And I do not abuse you. If you put these words into practice, you will have peace and you will be enriched. Heaven and earth and the fullness thereof belong to him. And what belongs to him belongs to his child. The field is wide, but the boundary is there. If you fail 
to heed his words, you are in eternal hell and suffering. Do not say you do not need God because whoever does not need God refuses life, he refuses peace, goodness and existence. Seek God now that you can find him or else a time shall come when you will see him no more. When that time passes, it will be eternal suffering, and the suffering shall have no source. He will neither beat you, nor talk to you, nor deny you food, but things will be tough. Do not be stubborn, because no one is exempted from the consequences of stubbornness. When it was said, that people should not marry, should not quarrel, or commit any other sins. Most people were afraid and wondered how man could survive without marriage and without eating meat and fish. Have you not seen that these are now things of the past? First witness, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 13. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vainted, vaunted not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, Believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even also as I am known, and now abided faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Everything is in him. Have you heard that? You ask for money, children, power, glory, and so on. These are minor things which are embodied in him. Once you call on him, they come to you. These are the real teachings that prevail now. And once you abide by them, you will have everlasting peace. Read the golden text again. Golden text, John chapter 3, verses 31 to 32. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. And what he hath seen and heard, that he testifieth, and no man receiveth his testimony. Have you heard that? Heaven and earth are found in him. What kind of knowledge, what kind of city, food, glory are you looking for, which is not in him? With him you have no problem and no wants again. He is the greatest. He is omniscient. What do you want to go and study again? Once you have him, you are, you are the top of everything. The kingdom is faith, hope and love, and with these you are at rest. He is the father of beauty, he is the father of grace, he is the father of wisdom, he is the fountain of living waters. I have come to take you to the promised land, and whether you like it or not, 
you have reached there. Humble yourselves. If you are called God, do not answer. If you are called Christ, do not answer. Accept to be his witness for this truth because it is not a joke to be called God or Christ. Only practice love. Be merciful and continue to do good. Once you, you do that, you are one with the Father. There is no other teacher of wisdom. There is no other teacher or no other wisdom. He is the first and the last and the everlasting life which we all sought. I am not a teacher. I am nothing but I am a witness. I no longer seek for anything. Nothing impresses me. I do not hunger. Let us keep quiet and have love. Stop saying, I have love, or I know him. Whoever knows him can never make noise, offer long prayers, and so on. Those who know him no longer commit sin, and they abide with him forever. A word is enough for the wise. Let those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Now and forevermore. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.